Let's take a look at uh, the Senate numbers right now since we've just touched base with, uh, with their respective camps. And uh, Catherine Cortez Masto, uh, still about a two percentage point lead right now over Joe Hack and uh, about half the precincts reporting. But uh, this race uh, called uh, pretty much on the early side, based in large part because of the early voting. Uh, Catherine Cortez Masto riding the uh, blue wave that seemed to sweep Nevada as opposed to the red wave. Uh, that uh, gave, uh, the, gave uh, Harry Reid's fellow Democrat, Catherine Cortez Masto, his seat. So she'll go to Capitol Hill in his place. And 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live at the Aria tonight where Catherine Cortez Masto is celebrating her victory over Republican Joe Heck. Masa. Yeah, that is right, Trisha. We're expecting her to take the stage at any moment now. This was one of the critical races that we were watching closely, that the whole country was watching closely, especially as the night went on and it became clear that a path for Hillary Clinton would be very difficult. It became clear that the GOP was keeping control of the House. We began the day with 54-46, the GOP control of the Senate. And we are, as of right now, at last check, 48 47. So again, a lot on the line for the Democrats right now. This is the last uh, possible check balance on what could be a huge Republican win tonight. So for them, they're worried about Obamacare, the Supreme Court, the direction of this country. So a lot on the line for them. Uh, here, unlike many other Democratic watch parties across the country, the mood is better because of the results that we have had in the state with the two uh, with the two House races uh, going over to the Democrats as well as Catherine Cortez Masto here. But we are going to bring her speech to you live and we're going to continue to watch and see exactly what happens here. Let's take it out to Chris King and he has more on uh, what the head folks are saying out there. Chris.